Hello all. Welcome to the learning series on SOC, SIEM, and SOAR tutorial series. In this video, we shall understand cyber threat intelligence. And how does this integrates with your SOC and helps you mature your cyber security posture. Let's get started. Threat intelligence is knowledge that allows you to prevent or mitigate cyber attacks. Threat intelligence, or cyber threat intelligence, is information an organization uses to understand the threats that have, will, or are currently targeting the organization. Gartner defines it as Threat intelligence is evidence-based knowledge, including context, mechanisms, indicators, implications, and action-oriented advice, about an existing or emerging menace or hazard to assets. This intelligence can be used to inform decisions regarding the subject's response to that menace or hazard. Cyber threat intelligence is information about threats and threat actors, that helps mitigate harmful events in cyberspace. Cyber threat intelligence sources includes Open source intelligence Social media intelligence Human intelligence Technical intelligence, and Intelligence from the deep and dark web. Let's understand the three overarching types of threat intelligence. Tactical intelligence. The technical intelligence, including indicators of compromise, such as IP addresses, file names, or hashes, which can be used to assist in the identification of threat actors. Then we have operational intelligence. Details of the motivation or capabilities of threat actors including their tools, techniques and procedures. And then we have strategic intelligence. The intelligence about the overarching risks associated with cyber threats, which can be used to drive high-level organizational strategy. Let's see what are the common indicators of compromise. Organizations are under increasing pressure to manage security vulnerabilities, and the threat landscape is constantly evolving. Threat intelligence feeds can assist in this process by identifying common indicators of compromise, and recommending necessary steps to prevent attack or infection. Some of the most common indicators of compromise include IP addresses, URLs and domain names. An example would be malware targeting an internal host that is communicating with a known threat actor. Next, it includes email addresses, email subject, links and attachments. An example would be a phishing attempt that relies on an unsuspecting user clicking on a link, or attachment and initiating a malicious command. Lastly, it includes registry keys, file names and file hashes and DLLs. An example would be an attack from an external host, that has already been flagged for nefarious behavior, or that is already infected. Let's discuss why threat intelligence is important. Threat intelligence solutions gather raw data about emerging or existing threat actors, and threats from a number of sources. This data is then analyzed and filtered to produce threat intel feeds, and management reports that contain information, that can be used by automated security control solutions. It keeps organizations informed of the risks of advanced persistent threats, zero-day threats and exploits, and how to protect against them drives momentum toward a cybersecurity posture, that is predictive and proactive, not just reactive. It helps enables improved detection of threats. It helps you with better decision making during and following the detection of a cyber intrusion. I hope the content was useful. Please don't forget to like the video if you liked it. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay on top of all the upcoming videos. Thank you.